Welcome to the factory, my name is Bot, and today we are back in with some more Subnautica. So, last time we were in, I uh, just found the island and we had discovered some stuff around there, listened to some logs from that people had recorded and everything like that. And this time I wanted to jump in and explore the island a little bit more, and then maybe build a base on the island or go back and check out that other signal that we got. But let's just go ahead and jump in and see what we can do. Alright, we are in. So, as you can see, like I said over there, we do have a radio signal that I need to check out. My water is a little low, it's like halfway, and my food is down some, but it's not too far. I think we do still have some stuff that I can eat and drink, though. Actually, I don't know if I have any water, which is a problem. But, uh, yeah, that does give, these do give me a little bit of water, too, so we should be okay for a little while. But, let's see what we can do. Alright, now that it is daytime and I have collected a decent amount of resources, let's go ahead and build a base. Now I had an idea for, I'm not entirely sure if I want to do this, but, oh, don't die, don't die, please don't, okay, <laughs> I thought I was about to fall off. I had an idea of building a base kind of like over the top of this, and I thought it might be kind of cool. We'll try it and see what I think. Because this is like a main entrance area to the island, so... Let's see. Yeah, while I was off camera, I, you know, I edited a bunch of, or edited, I went and collected a bunch of titanium and a bunch of other resources, so we should have enough of everything to build with. But let's go ahead and see. So, we did unlock the multi-purpose room, which is cool. But first, let's build a way to get up. Or not a way to get up, but like uh, the place to go in from. Okay. <laughs> and we are back. So let's check out this base that I built real quick. It took me a really, really long time to get all the supplies. I, I think I've been recording for like, I don't know, like two hours or something. Two and a half hours. Um, But... Maybe longer than that, but let's see what I've done. So, this is a pretty big base. The way I have it set up is, is that as soon as you roll up, you know, and leave the seam off here, on the way up, you have... Oh, wrong way. <laughs> yeah. On the way up, you have a light to guide you up if it's dark out. And some more up here, then you look up and you can see, like, a lot of the base you come up through here and then you mean you can go pretty much any way you want but I think it's quickest to just come up this way and what you do is you come around to this path and you come in right here so I have these glass so you can see like all around the surrounding area and then there's a little section down there you can go down the stairs for. Or you can come out on this side too. To get on the other side of this gap on the island when you first get here. But then if you go up. There's a little outside base out here that has some grow beds that I'm still going to put some food in. And there's you know some like lights up here and some solar panels to charge everything then you come in here and you see there's a there's a big area up there like one of those multi-purpose rooms so you come in here Welcome aboard, Captain. go upstairs and then come over here to the first multi-purpose room where I have a fabricator first aid kit a radio and all these lockers and more grow beds or planners, you know, so we can have food and stuff like that. Then this glass path, so you can see, like, over above the trees and all through the island and everything. And then you come over here. You go down these stairs. Through this area, down again. More glass so you can see the path out ahead of you. Come down here. And there is another multi-purpose room. In this, I have more storage for lockers and a little aquarium that I haven't put anything in yet. Another radio, some more grow beds, fabricators, stuff like that. 
And of course I had to label it Ben's room. <laughs> But yeah, that's what I've been working on. It may not look huge or anything, but it takes a lot of resources. So I had a lot of fun building this. Because I want to be able to actually live on this island and have a full base. And this is really something that I've wanted to do for a while. That's why I was so eager to find this island. Um, but I mean, yeah, look how cool this is, right? Like, I can see above everything. I don't know. To me, like, I don't know. I just love build base building in games anyway. You know, it's one of my favorite things. So I think this turned out really, really cool. And I used a lot of, like, glass windows so you could see around everything. Because to me, the more you can see, the better. Like, right here, I can see my base and the aurora all the way over there. So I do have some stuff that I can plant. So I'll go ahead and plant these. Because the more we grow, the more food I'll have when I need it. Right? So those are planting. And then eventually I'll go around and collect more. That way I can keep planting more. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of what I've done here. Now I did get a radio signal like I was talking about at the beginning. So let's go check that out and see uh, what it was all about. Okay, here it is. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send to me Imperial Mishail. Okay. So where is that? Carry high priority passenger remains. Passengers remains. Okay, so it's like way over there. Um, let's go ahead and disable some of these other beacons. Get rid of that one. That's the one I need. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. So we have the life pod, the sea moth, and the one we're looking for. Okay, let's go out to the sea glide. And we will be on our way to that waypoint. All right, we are out. Let's go hop in the sea moth. Whoa, that hurt. <laughs> and we'll head over to that signal. Hopefully it's not too deep or anything. It's good to be back. I haven't been in here in a while. Little old seam off. Let's go see. Carrying high priorities passenger remains. Okay. Not quite sure what that means, but ooh. I forgot how creepy the deep water is. Alright, let's go. It's pretty far away too, but hopefully it won't take too long to get there. It's always nice being in the water. Like, it's partially relaxing, and it's also partially terrifying. And I'm not sure which one outweighs the other. <laughs> Yikes, okay. Hopefully we don't run out of food or water anytime soon or anything. Man, that's how you know that refect is far away because it looked tiny. I love the sounds they make too. Oh yeah, it won't take too long to get there. Let's see what's going on over here. I'm actually kind of curious because I haven't gotten a, a, like a beacon signal in a while. I've just been exploring and doing stuff on my own. So hopefully this helps progress the story a little bit. What's in there? Anything? Maybe something. Let's check it out. Oh, laser cutter fragment. Yes. Get that scanner out. How many of those do I need? One out of three. Okay. I need to be on the lookout for more of those, like, fragment boxes then, or whatever they're called. The shipping crates. Alright, where's my signal at? This thing. Okay, let's go. Oh wait, is that another one? I think so. Alright, that's two laser cutter fragments. We just need one more. And then I'll be able to open up like the... Oh, hello sir, I'm gonna get back in here. Then I'll be able to open up the bigger shipments of stuff that's like locked away inside the things that I wasn't able to cut into before. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, 
don't really think I need any metal salvage right now. <laughs> I've, I'm actually kind of tired of collecting that because of all the stuff I had to collect to build the base. Okay. I do not like how dark this place is. How are you guys doing down there? Oh, I think I've scanned this before. I forget what they're called. They're, they're the glow fish or glow jellies or jelly glows. I don't know. Something like that. All right. We're pretty close now. I hope I can find another laser cutter fragment too. Because then I'll just have it. All right. What is this? Shine your light on it. Thank you. Alright, how am I getting in here? Is there a hole in the top? Yes. Alright, there's a PDA. I will listen to that in a second. Is there anything else in here? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's get back out of here. And get back. To the Seamoth, which is right here. I was like, where did it go? I get real panicky when I can't find my sources of oxygen. Alright. Let's listen to that PDA. Alright, it's this one. Yeah, Kassar. Is he praying? Or because he's about to crash? External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. Yeah, I think that's what he's doing. He sounds insane. Man, I love the sound on those crash noises that they did in this game. Okay. That was interesting. For a second it was so dark I couldn't even tell where the surface was. That's when it gets creepy. When you forget which way is up. Alright, well, with it being so dark out here, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I had a lot of fun playing. It was awesome. I was so excited that I finally got to build a base on the island. It's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Um, but also, we found two out of the three laser cutter fragments. So in the next episode, I'll, hopefully I'll find the third one. And then we can go around and find different wrecks and get the stuff out of them, which will hopefully get us more fragments for like the prawn suit and stuff like that, which will be awesome. And we can really start getting further with that. I feel like we're definitely making some like really good progress now, so I'm really happy about that. Um, we came and got this life pod and its PDA and everything. Listen to that and the guy that crashed. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.